Monday morning. I've got the next three days off and we're going turbot fishing, baby. So stay tuned and we'll start making our way out there to the turbos. Let's get the boat ready. Here we go. So guys, the boat cover's off. Let's get that engine down and get out of here. swell up here at the moment which should die down we've got both our rods out we're using long nose at the moment which is given to us from sammy robin so a big shout out to sammy gave us a load of long nose so without him we wouldn't have no bait today so we've got another boat up here with us he's over there fishing so uh hopefully some of these rods go we'll get a turbo werbo baby so stay tuned definitely coming home for tea look at that right in the mouth he's absolutely engulfed it but look at that lovely little whiting oh that's beautiful it's got to be about 37 38 centimeters that that's beautiful i'll get it off the hook and i'll give you a better glimpse of it weren't expecting that so there you go guys a fantastic representation of a whiting check that out baby that's beautiful i thought it was a little turbot or a doggy Lovely little whiting. Anyway, I'll get close up of it. We'll go back up for another drift. Lovely start on Make Static. Beautiful. Just 
had a bite then, guys, on this rod. I don't know if it was the bank or whether it was a bite. Just went to feel if I could feel any weight. Nothing there. Definitely went for it though. I said either that or it was just caught in the bottom. Anyway, hopefully we get one. Guys, possible fish on? Not sure yet. I might have just caught my whole line. There's not much weight on it. Might be a false alarm. just latched on. We've still got the bait. It was more likely just a dogfish latched on, guys. There was definitely weight there, though. Oh, well, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll get one. So, guys, it's currently half past 11, and all we've had is that one whiting at the moment and that other fish that I lost before, which I think was probably a dogfish by the looks of it. But yeah, stay tuned, I'm hopeful. It's lovely to be out here. It's a fantastic day. We're out on the vessel, baby. You can't beat that. Turbot fishing, same as these lads. Anyway, like I say, hopefully we can at least get one. So guys, this is Godine Bank. Oh, there's a rod going. Yeah, this is Godine Bank. Uh, we'll be drifting over the head here. This is the main head. Uh, so we're 160, 70 feet now. That'll go all the way up to 95, 100 foot, and then you're back down to 160, 170 foot. So, anyway, I've got a rod going, guys. So, uh, yeah, let's go and sort this out. So, guys, currently caught past one in the afternoon, and we have had absolutely nothing. Tony over there, though, he's had a four-pound turbot, he's had a couple of pelt, and he's also had about a 10-pound undulate rag. So, fair play to him. Um, so while I've got a minute, guys, I'm just going to quickly run through with you what I'm using. The reels that I use are pen squalls, 20s, I've got a left hand and a right hand winder. Reason is I broke my wrist and it hurts my wrist sometimes so I, I just swap round doing both of them. Now on that we've got a full macro on that line, we're using 30 pound mono, uh, 35 pound mono on the reels um, with a 30 pound trace and an 8 um cox and roll meat hook. We've got basically exactly the same on the other rod there, guys. Pen squab again. Uh, this one is a Shakespeare, uh, Sigma, Shakespeare Sigma boat rod, 20 pound boat class. So beautiful rod that. And this is the one that I got from Neil Corbett, the Colossal Catcher. Uh, it's an Advent Graze. Uh, I don't know what pound class it is, but it's a cracking rod. So anyway, um, we're using long nose there, guys. Those are from Sammy Robin, so big shout out to Sammy. Look at those long nose fillets, baby. And we've got mackerel there as well, so uh, stay tuned. We've only got another hour up here, but hopefully we'll get you a few fish. So guys, fish on, I think. I hope I ain't caught in my other line. I hope I'm not picking up my other line. Don't know what's going on here. There is weight. Now this 
does feel turbo wervo in. Oh, look what we got here, guys. Nice bend in the rod. Oh. oh. Yeah. He's just fighting me. That's a dogfish, guys. It's a dogfish. Another species, baby. You can tell the tide slackened right off now. Made a right mess of my trays. See if we can just unspin that. There we are, that's that on the spot. Yeah, he's made a right mess of that, guys. Now, the best way to hold a dogfish that you all probably know is by the head and the tail. But check that out. Beautiful little dogfish. Anyway, I'll get you a glimpse of it, guys, and we'll put it back. And glorious. So, guys, we're going to release this dogfish now. Beautiful little dogfish, but we don't want to keep him, so... He's turning, and straight back down he goes, guys. Let's try and get one more fish at least. I've got a possible fish on. If it is, I reckon it's a dog fish. Feels a bit dog fishy. Problem is, there's no tide here now, so. And my trace is all wrapped up. Dog. Another dogfish, guys. No good. The tide slackened off now, so it's no turbot. And we've got to start making our way in soon, so yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna get that one off the hook. We we'll release it and get the other rod in. So, guys, we're gonna release this dogfish now. Let them go back. Did absolutely shock them on the turbot. They've all had turbot. I'm the only one that hasn't. And back he goes. Straight back down, guys. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to start making our way in now because we can't miss the gate. It's inglorious. Well, guys, because we've got five, ten minutes before I go, I'm just going to try and get some bait for tomorrow. Some, um, some sand eels. Do with some. I've already caught some for tomorrow, so... That's good, we've got some live bait. Tomorrow. Just going to tangle them. Right, hopefully we can get a few sun deals again. Hopefully. Got some sand deals, guys. Whack of them. Come on, baby. Bait. He's be going in the smash cooch. Full string of sand eels, baby, and they're dropping up in the deck. That's what we want. Some nice greens for tomorrow. Can't beat a bit of fresh bait. The good thing, sabiki feathers, guys. Sabiki feathers are the feathers you want for sand eels. They're the best. Sabiks. A few more markers down there, so. That's some nice sand deals. Yes, we're in again. Sand deal galore, baby. Got bait for tomorrow. These must be some big greens. Full string again. Yep, 
Come on, baby. Yes. Love a full string again, guys. That's what we want, Sandy or Mania. They're few and far between at the moment, so get as much as you can while you can. There we are, guys. Sandy Mania. Sandeels again, guys. Sandeels again. Love a string again, guys. That's another episode of being glorious fishing. We went out turbot fishing and unfortunately we were the only boat up there that didn't get one. Now I don't know why that is, but we've got a load of live eels now for tomorrow. We've got some mackerel and long nose again. So hopefully we may go to Bank Denor tomorrow or we may go to Godine again. Um, I'm not quite sure. There is a couple of fish, but there's not a lot. So we may try Bank Denor. So uh, yeah, I hope you liked it guys. And if you like the channel, please, like and subscribe it's all you guys that uh keep the fishing channel going so much appreciate it and uh we'll see you tomorrow it's glorious <laughs> <laughs>